Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today, I wanna showcase something that I've been working on for a very long time. As you can see behind me, I've been working on my very own Pokemon game, and it was super simple to make, and you guys can make your own game too. Recently in my community section, I asked if you guys have ever had the dream of creating your own Pokemon game. Well, now it's actually possible. Literally anybody can do it, and people have been doing it for years. Thanks to Pokemon Essentials, I was able to make a Pokemon game that I'm proud to produce to you guys. Using already available tile sets, code, and the game and some stuff like that you guys can actually put together whatever game you want and if this video gets over 300 likes I will make for you guys a guide step by step on how to make your very own Pokemon game so if you guys want that to happen make sure that you hit the like button down below as well as subscribe if you want to and let's go ahead and jump into this Pokemon game and let me tell you what it's all about all right guys so this is my Pokemon game. This is Poke Run speedrun version. And basically it's a Pokemon speedrun that I want everyone to participate in. At the moment, you guys can actually click down below and you will see a link to where you can download this game. And basically all you gotta do is unzip the files and keep them all in one area and click the game.exe file to run the game. At the end of the game, you can screenshot your final time and post it in my Discord. I'm excited to see what everybody gets, but let's go ahead and jump into the game and see what kind of time that I can get in my own video game. All right. So I know that there's there's gonna be multiple ways that you can go about completing this game and a lot of different ways that you can do it and basically it's it's just me gonna be clicking through this game and I'll be showing you guys a little bit of tips and tricks on how to be able to beat the game as fast as possible all right so I'm what I do here and when it goes to my name section here I don't even I just hit okay and it straight up already fills my name with unstoppableness straight up already fills it so I don't even gotta write a name down I can literally just jump right into the thing here this game does have somewhat of a story and somewhat of a few elements that you can go through um, as you're playing the game but um, that's I mean the point of the game is to get to the end as fast as possible and Basically to get to, to beat this game You have to meet with your grandfather who lives in the bottom. Oh not the bottom He lives this game takes place in Celadon City as you guys will see and Basically you got to make it to the little middle part where like the little water is and you'll see in just a moment here What I'm talking about it is after this part here. So this takes place a little bit before Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green whenever like Team Rocket is just moving into the city. And you can see here that this person, um, I coded it to where that they're, it's like a kind of a cutscene. And basically they, their Pokemon got stolen by Team Rocket and it's our job to help her. Um, but there is our grandfather, as I mentioned before, you can see right there, that is the grandpa. All right. Um, we currently can't surf. If you had a water Pokemon with the move surf, you could easily get over that old man. And just so happened that that woman's Pokemon who got stolen from Team Rocket, like that Pokemon is a Lapras. She said she'd be in the Pokemon Center and we can we can talk to her for some more information on what's going on. Um, please find my Lapras. I'm so worried. I'm not sure where Team Rocket took my Pokemon. If you could please ask around. All right, let's take a look at it then. All right, so where in the world could this Pokemon be? We we can ask around. Um, we can do all kinds of stuff. I, I want actually want to see um, if my Pokemon actually what what nature is. Did I get lucky on a good nature or rash nature? Okay, I could definitely have gotten a worse nature um, than that for sure. All right, I guess let's uh, ask around. We can go on the buildings and check. So this looks like we are in some sort of, yeah, if you guys have played the Pokemon, oh, there's actually a Team Rocket uh, thing on the wall here. Team Rocket recruiting in the Celadon Casino. Okay, Celadon Casino is where we will find Team Rocket and we can get this Lapras back, beat the game, beat the speed run. All right, Team Rocket, it is over. You have your reign, give us the Lapras back. I'm not scared of a wimp like you, you don't even have a gym badge. Oh, okay, I, I mean, I guess we can't take on Team Rocket without a gym badge. Um, good thing in Celadon City, there's actually a gym here. Um, we could definitely, check that out there's actually a meowth over here uh, i don't want to talk to the meowth all right we gotta we gotta do something for the gym first we've definitely got to be able to be strong enough to defeat our pokemon there um yeah this is definitely the gym correct all righty let's check on in actually there's one thing i want to show you guys a little secret just a little secret real quick Boom, this flower was hiding a rare candy, boys. 
it was hiding a rare candy so use that however you need to um i guess we'll take on the first trainer here and see see what we can do all right looks like we're fighting beauty brandy all right a level 10 oddish all right not too bad um i don't have any many moves on my pokemon so hopefully we can knock this thing out pretty easily all righty there we go that was a 193 experience actually a lot of experience okay Okay, I don't think we can beat the next trainer, so I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, maybe we should find a quest. Usually there's quests around here that lets you like level up your Pokemon. Um, so if we could find a quick quest to, to find an evolution stone, that would be perfect. Um, let's see what we can find in here. Talking to NPCs usually tells you some stuff about that sailor over there knows a thing or two about something. All right, usually talking to NPCs will give you some information. How do you fancy a tale from an old sailor? All right, all right, story time, let's go. So there was a dark and stormy night. I was at sea on Best Magic Carp when all of a sudden I was thrown overboard. I was drowning and surely thought I was going to die at the last moment right before I was sure I had, all right, whatever. Turns out I was in the middle of a Celadon city and I had fallen into the city fountain. I was so ashamed I ran back home without realizing I dropped my treasure in the fountain. I'm sure it's still there. So if you could go check that out for me, that would be amazing. I have a lot more stories if you ever down to hear them. Oh, did you check to see if my treasure was in the fountain yet? I'm sure it's still there. We'll go check. Okay, I guess we got to go see. Um, in the middle of Celadon City, if his if his stone is still there, um, that could be an evolution stone for your boy Eevee. That's what we need. We need an evolution stone. Um, what have we got here? There's something shining in the fountain. Should I take it? Yes. Oh, we got a water stone. Uh, we could just take it and use it, right? Oh, it's, it's literally a water stone. I'm, I'm not going to not evolve my Eevee, right? Not going to not evolve my Eevee. Okay. And just so we're clear, there are different quests scattered out this uh, the city. And you can have every single evolution um, by doing a quest. So be sure to look out for every single quest. One of them could potentially get you a better, faster time. Oh, I do not want to learn. I do want to give a learning water gun. No. Okay, we gotta teach it Water Gun for sure. That could be a really powerful move to have on this Pokemon. All right, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of Tail Whip. One, two, and ta-da. Vaporeon learned how to use Tail Whip and learned Water Gun, okay. All right, there we go. We actually used that dude's Water Stone and we got Vaporeon now, that looks so good. All right, Vaporeon. Um, yeah, let's go. What's this dude doing here with this? Please take this Pidgey away. It won't leave me alone. Um, don't mind if I do, buddy. This Pidgey could definitely help me take on the gym. Does it even have any flying top moves, though? It ha oh, adamant nature? That's pretty decent. Actually, I don't even know if Gust, Gust is special attack. Never mind, I'm, I'm just dumb. It does have Gust, which is pretty good. So we do have a mount of special attack, a Pidgey. Uh, I'm going to heal just in case. You never, you never know. You never can have too many heals, right? I wonder if there are more rare candies scattered around the city. Um, I know there's a quest in the city to find an item finder. If you could get the item finder, potentially you could find all the rare candies super easy. Um, but I don't have time for that. We're trying to beat the speed run as fast as possible. It is time for us to check out the, the gym here. And well, we already checked it out, but we've got Pidgey now and I, I feel a lot more confident instead of just coming in here with a water type. I feel way more confident with a pigeon and a Vaporeon together. I think both those Pokemon together could do a lot of damage. So um, let's see what we can get here. We got an Oddish. Okay. Oddish versus Pigeon. All right. How much does Gus do? Uh, actually does half damage there. That's actually really good. Um, but she had two Pokemon, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to defeat both Pokemon. A level 12 Pigeon right off the back, dude. That's some insane. Oh, that's a lot of experience there. That was a lot of experience on Pidgey. All right, we'll go for another Gust here on the Tangela. And yeah, half health again. The Sleep Powder. Hit me with the Sleep Powder. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, that's going to really like go in on my time super hard. That's got to be like the worst RNG when it comes to a speed run right there. All right, good thing we resist most of the moves here. And we're going to wake up, and that should be enough to knock out the Tangela. All righty. Uh, that's gonna get us to level we learn quick attack, which is a Amazing move and we're also uh, Almost level 14 as well. All right If we can take on the Erica here and win we could get the gym badge and that'll prove to team rocket that we are 
mean enough to actually get in here and defeat and win this Lapras back for this girl. We need to do that for her. Correct? Correct, Amundo. All right, gusts. Oh, this is a bulky Oddish. That is a bulky Oddish. Okay. Oh, the acid did so much damage there. All right, Vaporeon's gonna come in and maybe Vaporeon can do some damage here. I don't know if we're gonna win this one, guys. We might, oh, and she has a potion. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, hopefully just, oh my gosh, now the growth. We're about to get one-shotted. Oh, dude, it's building up. It is building up. I would like to get at least one kill with... Oh, okay, there we go. I think that's going to be enough to get us to level 11 on Vaporeon. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. And Bellsprout is definitely going to knock us out. So, all right. Yep. All right, so, um, yeah, I think Pigeon's going to be strong enough to take on this... It's just, we got put to sleep and we already have health there. So I think we come back with a fully healed pigeon and then having Vaporeon in the back is going to be enough to take on this gym and get that gym badge. So I'll meet you guys back over at the gym. All right, we are back, Erica. It is time for a rematch, my dude. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Another Oddish coming in. Um, last time we got hit hard. Well, we didn't get hit hard. We... The tackle did just as much damage. I bet the quick attack actually does even more damage than the gust does. Oh yeah, that actually did nothing at all. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the gust now. And that should knock out the, the Oddish anyways. And that's gonna get Pigeon up to level 14, so we actually have a very strong Pidgey here. Alrighty. Uh, almost level 15 now. Now I'm not switching Pokemon at all. Bell Sprout's coming in now. Coming in clutch. Gonna use the gust attack here. Alright, the Vine Whip. Okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, execute. Nah, we gotta we gotta keep our Pokemon in right now. It's just it sucks. It sucks. Alright, so I think we can can we kill it? Yes, we got a critical hit. Yes, perfect. Critical hits are gonna be big in this speed run, so if you can get any critical hits, that's gonna be insane. Alright, we got the soul badge, and that is perfect. Let's go, let's go, baby. Alrighty. I guess we head straight over now to, to the Team Rocket. Let's switch over to Vaporeon at this moment. And we also have that rare candy, which I guess we can throw on Vaporeon, right? And get him to level 12. All right, because it's good to have, we don't want to have just one Pokemon because if we have just one strong Pokemon, they could have something strong against us and then we'd have to grind out and that's just going to waste our time in the speed run. But let's get back to that casino real quick and see what Team Rocket has. All right, Team Rocket, we are here and we are ready to get Lapras back. I'm here for the Lapras. I'm not going to let a kid push me around. Good luck getting past me. All right, Team Rocket, if you want to tango, we're going to tango. Me and my Vaporeon are here to battle, my dude. All right, Vaporeon, let's show them what we've made of. All right, the snake the snake has no effect on us no effect on us Ekans is going down without a without even Barely any damage to us and your next Pokemon is gonna be a saint. Okay, Sandshrew is weak to water types All right, show what we do water Vaporeon. All right, exactly Exactly level 13 Easy peasy once learn quick attack. That's a pretty decent move. Actually. We'll get rid of tackle for that one All right, and Vaporeon learned quick attack. Alrighty. All right, so there we go. We are now in the rocket base here. Um, we've got to find the key. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, uh, hey, we just got into this town. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess we got to find the team rocket who has the Lapras around here. Who is it? And what are they doing with the, with the Pokemon? Where are they hiding all the Pokemon at, to be honest? That doesn't walk. Oh, absorb. All right, I thought it was going to do a lot more damage than normal, but it did not. It did not. Vaporeon's kind of overpowered right here. All right, T. And only a level 10 Zubat on that girl. All right. Um, all right, this plant looks suspicious. All right, what is Team Rocket? That Lapras on my favorite tree over. Oh, okay. All right, Lapras is knocking over your favorite tree. We got Ekans over here. 
All right, so Team Rocket is just decided now that they're going to start moving in to the facility. So this is like a brand new Team Rocket. Like they're just getting on their feet in the Kanto region. And we're already messing with, they've been, people have been messing with their, their stuff since day one. You don't need a stupid Lapras anyways. All right, if you're looking for the Lapras, our bosses are hidden downstairs. Here's the key to the elevator room. All right, now we're just gonna find the elevator room. And if you guys have played Fire Leaf Green, you know this place at the back of your hands, um, but not me. Oh, there's actually an item hidden over here. What is this gonna be? It is a potion, nice. All right, we can use that in the future. Uh, I don't think we can read any of these computers and stuff, but there we go. That is that is a potion down and it looks like we might have to go down this way. This guy is definitely guarding this area. How'd you get my base? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, there we go. Bellsprout is up next. All right, Vaporeon. Um, I don't want to Vaporeon take too much damage, so we're going to switch in Pigeon now. I should have actually went to the Pokemon Center before coming here. Um... It might be a good idea to, to go to Pokemon Center before taking on uh, Giovanni. I almost said LT Surge there. Um, but here we go. Let's do the Gust here. Bellsprout, stay on the live. All right, so I think we might have to, to head out and then come back. I think that's going to be the plan there. The plan. The plan. Once to learn Whirlwind. Uh, yeah, we don't need to learn Whirlwind. That's not a helpful move. Maybe helpful in this. I have no idea. Is it helpful in this speed run? Who knows? Um, you know what? We're not afraid of Giovanni. We're gonna take him on. Oh, there he is in his big boss room. All right, can't you see we're in the middle of setting up a base in the city? If you really want Lapras that bad, then please come and take it from me. Okay. Okay. You're challenged by Rocket Boss Giovanni. Sent out Rhyhorn. Oh, we got Vaporeon. Okay, this is actually easy for Vaporeon. Um, water. We literally just <laughs> one-shotted it. All right, so that's actually easy. I'm glad I didn't waste time going back to the Pokemon Center there. All right, Giovanni gonna send in a Nidoran. Yeah, we'll just stick. We'll stick with what we got. Level 15 though, that's kind of tough. Level 15 Nidoran. Oh, okay, if you get poisoned, man, that would suck. All right, goes for the peck that time. Probably could've went for the poison. I think the poison would be the way for him to go on this one. I don't know what other moves he has on that Pokemon, but we're gonna we're gonna stick in with our Nidoran for now. All right, Water Gun on both the Nidorans here. Okay. Okay. Double Kick. Oh. Oh yeah, we 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 definitely beat him here. This is the last Pokemon here. So there we go. We defeated Giovanni. Vaporeon level 15. Nice. All right, we will continue to work on this base, but I guess you can have the Lapras for now. Oh, we did it, boys. We got the Lapras. We received a Pokemon from Giovanni. All right, now we just need to return this Lapras to the girl in the Pokemon Center. All right, now that we got Lapras, we can finally get her back to that girl, and we can complete this game and see what our final time is going to be. All right, girl, what, what do you got for us? What do you got for us? Oh, you found my baby. Wait, th this isn't my Lapras. Team Rocket must have already transferred it far away. Thank you anyways. Uh, please take this as a reward for your generosity. Surf. Oh, that's what we need to get over the water. She didn't. That was her Lapras. Team Rocket stole her Lapras, sold it. But none of that matters because now we have a free Lapras. And we also have HM Surf, which we can use to surf across to our grandpa. All right, HM Surf, Vaporeon. We'll teach our Vaporeon just because Vaporeon has been a beast in this entire episode. Um, so, all right, let's get over there. Let's get over there and see what is up. All right, Grandpa, we are here to get across. I'm going to surf on my Vaporeon, and boom, there we go. Look at that. Surf on Vaporeon. Uh, it sure took you a long time to get here in Sopbulness. So long, in fact, I forgot what I was going to show you, but but I didn't keep track of how long it took you to get here. Uh, let's see how you did. All right. I'm excited to see what my time is going to be for this. I have no idea. Um, post your time in the Discord. And it looks like we got 14 minutes, 26 seconds. That is actually extremely fast. Almost, that's like very, very close time. Um, yeah. 
All right, so you have enough time here to screenshot. Um, I always window shift S on Windows, and then you can like do this, and you can actually screenshot it to your Windows. And then you have the option here to, if you hit yes, um, it'll open up a window here which basically loads my Discord page, which you can accept the invite. And once you get there, you can go ahead and go to the Discord. In the Discord section, you will find a section called speed run times. You can actually post your speed run times here. I wanna see everybody's times, so be sure to go and post your times there. But yes, that was it for my game. What did you guys think of my Pokemon speedrun version? I, I really enjoyed making it and it was a lot of fun. Um, a lot of stress at some times just trying to figure stuff out and get my mind around um, if then statements really. But basically that was it. So if y'all did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and as always, God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.